So here we are at beautiful Beaumar Hall Antiques and Collectibles, right here on Route 1 in sunny Wells, Maine. We're going to be going inside. Bonnie and the crew are there, and there is a treasure of American glass. And you are going to have your eyes feasted. Indeed. Let's work our way through. Here we go. Beautiful entrance here. Ooh, there's some nice American dinnerware there. Ooh. And I love that sugar bowl immediately. Ooh, that's a nice old piece. Look at that, I'm talking about it and not showing it. There's a nice lid. What do we have? Old sugar bowl with lid, $6.95. I might have to have that. Might have to have that. Yes, and a beautiful old pair of candlesticks back there. Yeah, they were hiding behind that American dinnerware there. Very nice. Let's go in. And here we are. Hey, ladies. There's Bonnie, the owner. We're lucky to catch her. Hi. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Ladies, excuse me. Let's go and see what we have. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to the end and we are going to work our way back. And I think that's the way to go. Please hold on if I'm walking too fast. You can already see there's a lot to see. Okay, and we arrive at the end and our destination, and we are greeted by some beautiful Easter plates. Look at these in milk glass. They look like they may be Westmoreland to me. That one there has a chick. And this one here has a rabbit, raised relief rabbit. Easter greetings, how cute are they? And this one here has ducks on it. Yes, you can see those guys. Let's turn this over. Uh, it's got 93 on the back. That probably is 1893 Easter. Yes, this one has rabbits on it. And this is 94. They may be from a series. Uh, is this one marked? Mm, I can't see it anyway. Moving around the table here is oh, covered butter there. It's <clears throat> it's from Avon. Here's a piece of anchor hocking here. White glass footed little candy dish. And moving around here, this piece here is Indiana. It's um, flowers with leaves and berries. Yes, you don't often see it in milk glass. There it is. Cute, cute, cute. And next to it, we're looking at a nice piece of English hobnail, Westmoreland. Beautiful three-footed covered candy dish there. There's the inside. How nice is that? It's a nice trifle bowl, a footed trifle bowl there. Very nice. And a matching serving bowl there. Hazel Atlas, Swedish, sham bottomed, lilac and mauve. How attractive is that? All kind of Eastery. Very nice. And over here, we have, <coughs> excuse me, a piece of depression glass. <coughs> it's the Adam pattern. Uh, it has a few bubbles. They, this one, they don't break the surface, so they don't de detract from the bowl. Adam is a fairly rare depression glass. Oh, I didn't look at this little pink. See how you don't see things. Uh, it's not, it's, um, 
Oh, to be off the top of my head, I don't really know who it is. Could be one of a number of things. It looks to be from the, the 50s or the 60s and may come from a snack set of some description. Okay, moving around, let's take a look here. How nice is this? Picked Memphis, Tennessee. It's a glass casserole with a raised relief. They look like morning glories to me. Very nice. It's a very nice piece for $15, yes. Okay, moving along the shelves. is a wonderful piece of uh, panelled grape. Footed compote there with a flared crimped rim. Very nice. There's a bride's box there next to a very old oil lamp. Oh, and look at the decoration on the front of that oil lamp. It's a little girl, a baby, and she's in a basket. And there are poppies, uh, pale blue and purple. Very, very nice. Here's a picture, a nice picture, panelled picture. Very, very nice. And a planter. That looks to be an anchor hocking planter there with a raised grape design <clears throat> on the uh, colonial panelled walls. Oh, and here is a beautiful water bottle with a needle etch design. We see that needle etch design, yes. This is very nice. Ah, uh, this looks to be hand blown. It's in beautiful condition. My friend Kevin in England is totally into decanter, so maybe if he sees this, he can tell us what he thinks about it. It's cut and blown. I think this is a beautiful piece here, indeed. The etched carafe or water bottle. Very nice. There's some dessert cups right there, three of them. And a little bird votif. And up here, we have a, a handled candle. That's from the uh, it's Anchor Hawkin from the Stars and Bars line in the early 40s. Let's move down. We have a wonderful cigar ashtray with the raised rectangle matchbox holder. Moving along here, we have some Corel. This is golden butterfly pattern. Yes, I love those little handles. They're kind of comfortable. Moving down, we have some Pyrex mugs. They are $4.95 each. They have the blue stripe. They're very nice, very nice. Yes, oops a daisy, I need to. There is the old mark there. Yes, moving around, there's a couple of uh, Large uh, iced tea pitchers. And coming down, we have a collection shot glasses. This one looks to have a grey cut. This is uh, hand blown. Interesting. Very nice. Uh, moving around. This is glass Belgian milk glass. Oh, well, there you go. Let's. It's got a Japanese garden scene on it. We may as well take a quick. Uh, Look at it while we are here. There it is. What's this? Oh, that's Arca Rock. That's French. And there's a little group of it down there in the corner. There's a beautiful large heart shaped glass tray there. Very nice. And a pedestal. That's probably a silver base there. Or or silver plate base. It's slightly tarnished, which leads me to believe it's probably silver and needs a good polish. There's some pie plates there and a mixing bowl. Let's move around. We have some beautiful colored glass here. We're coming up to the window. So this is, uh, this looks like a hand blown picture. 
with a clear applied handle. There is the applied handle. Okay, and we have some beautiful Indiana glass here, amber. Oh, what's this pattern? I think this is 620. What's this pattern called? Um, oh gosh, it escapes me. One for the escaped camp. Uh, I can, I'm looking at the page now. It's definitely Indiana. And this is fairly rare too. There's a creamer, I kind of like that, 395. Oh, it's a sugar. I meant to say sugar. It's very nice. Yes, I might pick that up at the end of my little travels here and put that in one of my other shows. Moving along, we have some crystal and uh, a beautiful amberina vase here. See that? The sun is shining through that. Very nice. How nice is that? And down here, we have some anchor hawkin. Ruby red cup and a creamer. Cute little creamer there, I love those handles. Uh, it's a little juice pitcher. That red swirl glass looks Mexican to me. And there's a larger pitcher that matches our smaller juice pitcher. Moving up, we have a daisy and button. Large top hat vase. And behind that, this looks like Westmoreland. Yes, I think it is. Let's pull it away. Yeah, it's got the Westmoreland mark there. I think that pattern is called checkerboard. It's an old pattern, an old pattern. There's a beautiful purple vase there. The sun shines through the colored glass, so pretty. And green vase. And just gonna move that little bell. Oh, that's bubble from Anchor Hawkin. This, however, is much older, much older indeed, and is very nice. Yes, indeed. I don't know the name of this pattern, but I know it's very nice, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I'm probably gonna buy it too. Here's Modern Tone, Modern Tone, and uh, I don't know who made those cups. That bell there, that cobalt bell, which is very nice, looks to be Avon. Running along the top, there's it's a cut glass handled tumbler there and a vase. Do I recognize that? Nice candlestick, it's only $6. That's a great deal. Everybody should have a few candlesticks and a box of candles in their house because you never know when the electricity may go out for whatever. It's moving around. Oh, okay. Here we have a beautiful cut glass canoe shaped relish. It's got a, a wonderful flower petal design with the vine and the leaves very nice it's only 6.95 behind that we have a nice crystal sugar yes here's a nice pair of candle holders they're frosted and clear panels three footed they're very nice are they marked no, they're not marked. Not sure who made them. Here's some interesting things. Queen Anne mold. Yes. So that must say Queen Anne. These are footed and they're star-shaped. They're very nice. They're very nice. You could uh, make a, a jellied first course, you know, with shrimp or whatever. I mean, not for me. I should look into poison me because I'm allergic. But... For uh, amethyst glass candle holders, individual candle holders, that one there, I can't, I can't tell if that's naturally wisteria or hawthorn or whether it's just been sitting in the sun and has too much of uh, the wrong chemical in there. They're both very nice and they're just $12 each, so 
They are very nice, moving around. Well, this is an interesting DuPont sprayer. I don't see those on the shelves anymore. For DuPont Garden Chemicals. Call it like it is, right? Okay, here we go. How nice are we around here? Yes. Westmoreland. English Hobnow Cups there. Beautiful old picture here. How nice is that? It's got a nice lip. Yep, panel colonial style and some sherry glasses. Oh, and a couple of very nice pieces of carnival glass. This pattern is from Imperial and it is their number one pattern. It's called three in one. And this is a very nice footed three, three in one carnival glass dish. Here's a small vase, pinched vase. Very nice. Uh, this, the undercolor of this is pink. So yes, this is iridescent pink and the undercolor here, I don't know, but it, Oh gosh, you know, sometimes it's difficult to tell. I want to say that it may be some sort of uh, light yellow, but uh, I just can't be sure. But anyway, we've had a good look at it and we'll, it'll, we'll have a chance to think. Here's a couple of butterscotch vases with a dragon design on them. And some little side dishes there, salad dishes, bone dishes, Indiana sandwich pattern, individual uh, sugar bowl there, and a sauce bowl and under plate there in the corner. It's a nice couple of pieces of cube from Jeanette, depression glass. Oh, and these purple plates are only $4 each. These look to be New Martinsville to me. They're very nice. They have a ground underside. And uh, I might have to have one of those at some point too. Just for the collection, here's a Mount Vernon Cobalt Blue. Let's just twist Bunny there. Have him look at the crowd. Very nice there. Moving around. Nice little case. That's a beautiful center console bowl there. The stippled background and the raised relief design. It's a Fire King. Nice piece. Fire King anchor hocking. Moving down. It's an Art Deco footed frosted glass bowl there. That may have had a lid. It's very nice. Very nice design. A pair of uh, candle holders. Oh, there, Macasa. <clears throat> Back there is a uh, Madrid cups. We just talked about that. Those we just covered Madrid. Here's a, a half pound lidded uh, etched uh, candy jar with a cut. Can't. Uh, Large lid etched jar. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yes, and it's sort of got a berry, a holly and berry cut on there, actually. Uh, because these cuts are interpretational. So you sort of got to be able to roll with them. You know, they're, they're not going to be exact back there. We have a nice plate. Um, and we've covered this pattern too, the name of which Florentine, there it is. Uh, some pictures back there, very nice. I didn't take the lid off the candy because it's taped down and I tend to respect that. So there's a cute oil lamp there for a smaller room. Moving down, we have some silver crest from Fenton glass there, center handle D. 
dish with a double ruffled rim. This is Indiana. It is from their harvest colony line. It's very nice. And back behind that, we have a divided plate there with, uh, with frosted raised relief designs. What are they? They're, they're fruits and, uh, well, they're upside down, which usually doesn't bother me, but let's put this down and I'll turn it over the other way and then well, while we're down here, there's an iris and herringbone plate there tucked in the corner that we probably wouldn't have seen. That's very nice, and it's only $15 there. Looks like a cake plate. Beautiful. Well, while you're down there, right? Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at this. Okay, yeah, it's got fish and lobster. Those guys look like tomatoes. And then... They're, I think, vegetables, yeah, I guess. Well, they won't, the glass police won't be coming along here and arresting me for calling something by the wrong name, and we all know that. There's a couple of bowls down here, very nice. Let's take a look at that one, yeah. Nice arched panel. Okay, let's get up here and wander. Around the corner, yes indeed, there's a cute little milk glass dish, not much glass, oh, this is nice, this is an antique piece, very nice, and it's a trinket box, Victorian ladies trinket box, and there it is, it's very nice, it is an antique, that's a great deal for that well over hundred dollar, a hundred year old item. Well, we got some big gaps here, which looks called, looks for sales. There's a nice milk glass bowl there. And a footed center console bowl there, Indiana. This opalescent shell bowl with a holly, uh, holly design is Westmoreland. Very nice. Okay, clothes in the corner. And yes, Hard Rock Cafe there. Some glass pitcher moving down. Here's some pitchers there. These are Courier and Ives to go with the Courier and Ives dinnerware. Moving down, some soda bottles and various other bottles, it's Irish coffee mugs, there's a nice gold floral bowl, there's got an interesting raised, oh that looks like Georges Briard, I think his name is, series of designs, yeah that's a great deal, if that's a piece of his work, that's a very nice deal. Okay, that's to be it in this booth. Let's move down here and see what we're coming up with. Ah, it's impeccable timing. We have a crystal compote. Yes, how very nice is that? It's got a terraced foot and low standard. Eight dollars, that's a great deal. And what else do we have in here? There's a little bottle there with a bubble bottle. Oh, that's new. Pair of cut crystal candle holders. They're very nice too. Uh, some tumblers down there. Blue Max and uh, those antique automobiles. There's that purple slag bowl again. Oh, it's new. You see how your memory goes? I just picked it up a half an hour ago and said I liked it. Oh, it's new. And then I did the same thing again. So, <clears throat> not a lot of glass in here. There's a beautiful cobalt blue covered bowl there. Very nice. 
got a small ding on it, which is unfortunate. And these swirl bowls are cute too, dimpled. Yeah, okay, let's move on around. How's it going over there? Okay, let's see what we've got. We have a nice pair of shell bookends there. They are very nice. Even if you don't read, you can keep those in the room for personal protection. Yeah. Can you describe the assailant? Well, not very, but he does have a dent in his head where I sl slammed him with the bookend. Yes, how's this? Beautiful crystal cut. Looks like a cigarette box. Ground undersize. Oh, there's a lot of work in this. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. You can see the design on that. And here's an interesting bowl. Yes, indeed. It's got fish on it. We hold it up to the light there and you can see the raised fish design. I like that very much and it's only $20. It's a, gosh, how many parts to this mold? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm not too sure if I think this might be too good to be true. Anyway, let's think about it and you guys get another eyeful of it and maybe you can let me know what you think about it as well. This is interesting but clearly new. Down here some bowls, that shell one there, very nice. Okay, and moving over here. Oh. There's some old electrical insulators there, small glass insulators, and some canning jars and a few old oil lamps here. Lots of, a little bit of everything in there, not a lot of glass moving along. That's nice, these old Pyrex casserole bowls and covers in here it's very nice but oh is there a little bit of glass oh yeah these are just cute aren't they <clears throat> they're very nice i don't know much about them they sort of look very 50s and then there's the antique tumblers the the cars that one there's an autocar 1911 maxwell and there's a 1902 packard there yes they're very nice and there's those uh, smoky tumblers moving down. That appears to basically be it in here for glass. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a light fixture. Look at Jesus, I nearly dropped the damn thing. It, it was an X. I know I had to pay for that $65. See, be careful when you're in these places. You never know where your next heart attack is. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's still before I leave it. Okay, be still. There. Oops. Oh, there's a beautiful bowl. I love the design on that. And it's only $24. Look at that. That looks like somebody made that. I don't know anything about it, but I know that it's interesting. Some huge, beautiful vases up the top there. I'm not going to get them down, but I will get a little closer so that you guys can see that one's got a stopper in it. It's very nice. And that one there is... Also very nice next to the globe. Shows you what the world used to be like before it changed again. Yeah, $20 on that. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Oh, didn't see this guy. What is it? It's a bird. Oh, very nice. It's got... Oh, it's... I thought 
I thought the bird had three legs, but it's it's on a stall, so there it is. Yes, very nice. Moving on down. Yes, okay, let's see what's in here. Some beautiful soaps. Oh, and kinds of uh, wooden implements. Oh, I love these. They are from all the horse races. I don't know if you're into horse racing, but all the big horse races. This is from the Kentucky Derby. This is from the 146, and this is the Derby 2, 145, 144. Wow, they are beautiful. Look at those. This wool here, all wool from their own flock, and there's, there's, they're not kids. I was gonna say there's the kids, but they're not. They're lambs, aren't they? Should know that coming from the Isle of Sheppey. Here's some ruby. Look at that. Yeah, very nice. Anchor hawking. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's the Kentucky Oaks 145. Oh, glasses. This looks like uh, Parker Rock French moving over. Nice selection of uh, milk bottles. Here's uh, an interesting footed sugar bowl that I like. $12 with a wheel cut. It's got a band and a flower. Very nice colonial style pattern. And an oval celery or relish server with a beautiful wheel cut flower. Yes, those wheels are either made of stone or copper. Some old milk bottles here for you to look at. Look away if you're lactose intolerant. Some old oil lamps here, very nice. Nicely cleaned. Also uh, automobile number plates. Okay, moving forward here and down the line. Let's go along. There is, that looks like Indiana to me. I love that color, it's so Christmassy. Moving down, here's a cute little footed uh, creamer and some Harker plates there. This is a milk. Oh, this is Avon, very nice. It's a shaving mug with a with a train design on it. There's another little dimpled bowl. Here is some Avon Cape Cod. Uh, it's a round cake plate there and some candlestick holders and a covered quarter pound butter dish. Moving around. It's very nice. There's Princess House down there. You guys can see that with the heritage cut. Yes, nice mauve square bowl. That's beautiful. Nice little basket there with some uh, Easter. Very nice. That basket's got a little applied handle. Oh, this is old. I'm going to take this out because uh, this basket is old. This is this is an antique. This is uh, this is not new in any way, uh, and this is a fairly rare item. Actually, eighteen dollars. That's a great price. <clears throat> I'm not sure of that pattern, uh, but this is definitely old. Um, that pattern might be called Ten Point Star, but uh, I wouldn't put any money on that. There's a great pair of uh, hand-painted Happy Spring Daffodil decorated creamer and sugar. $18, what a great price is that there. Okay, stand on. Moving around, there's a cute picture. Applied handle. 
And a little cranberry basket, hand blown, clear applied handle. This Mexican glass back there, which I kind of find attractive. Heavy clear glass creamer. It's very nice. Looks to have an applied handle. May well be hand blown. Very nice. What else are we looking at? There's a couple of vases down there. Where's and oh, there's an, some a little couple of pieces here. This is uh yeah, this is the Flanders silver overlay footed dish. I don't know whose dish this is. Uh, I don't recognize those feet. Uh, but it's very nice. I like the wavy rim indeed. Let's pop it there. And here's some uh, anchor hocking. Some raised relief fire kick there. Yes, indeed. Let's go over here. We've seen this pair of uh, uh, English hobnail uh, Westmoreland baskets. They're very nice. Some milk glass sherbet. Yes. It's a nice Fostoria bowl down there. Chintz, it's footed. Okay, yes indeed. And moving around, oh, there's some faces up here. Let me show you there on the top shelf, there they are. I'm not gonna get those down. And vases coming down here. Interesting. Yes. One's all it's huge that crinkle one there. Very nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, it seems to be fairly it's new. But that doesn't mean that it's not crazy attractive. And this, what is this? This is oh I thought it was glass, it's the light, uh, it's ceramic. But that's a nice uh, crack of glass and uh, footed bud vase there. Three feet crystal, candle holder there. A trident style, there's a swell crystal bowl. You hear that ring and the cornucopia. The stall is having 30% off everything, so if you see something you like, let's work our way down and along. I'm not going to talk about things. This is silver overlay, nice picture with an ice, with an ice lip there. Roses. Yes, indeed. How nice is that? Behind it, there's a, a vase there with a silver overlay. Very nice, footed. These are crystal, yes, how and table. Oh, home and table. Here's a wheat and bottle there. Moving down. There's some shot glasses and a moonstone dish. That's nice, 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 nice lot of crystal. That sandwich there. Duncan and, Duncan and Miller. Okay. And over here we have some nice glass. Let's go from the top to the bottom. And that'll be the end of this show. Look at that. Face there and over there. Lots of crystal in here. This is old American. It's very nice. Let's see if we can get up a little closer to this I'm not gonna take it down because I can barely reach it that seems new pair of crystal candle holders and then that picture there that's very nice with the cut here's a square square basket it's wedged in there 
It's not marked at all. It's twenty-six dollars. It's, it's very nice. There's another basket there, Shannon Crystal, Irish Crystal, lots of beautiful crystal here. I've seen that before. Okay, coming down. Gonna move a few of these things around. This crackle vase, I'm gonna pop back up here because I wanna get to this stuff. Here's a crystal bowl with butterflies it's footed and it's got like a star kind of uh, mold in it but they look like little butterflies even though they're really not um, I think you can just sit there for a few minutes while we take a look at this Padden City there we go I don't know the name of this pattern. Is it thistle? I could be wrong. Probably am. But it's a nice footed bowl. It's got a ball in the stem. Two part mold and it's only $20. It's sitting in a, a shallow crystal tray. I'm going to pop it back. And then let's look at this basket here. Which is interesting this looks to be old to me too antique that looks to be janice there from new martinsville piece of cut crystal back there that's cut crystal i can move this trivet off here put it there for a second i can take a look at that oval dish which is very nice for eight dollars but i can't see much about it so i'm just gonna let that go that's crystal that under there is uh that's some who what pattern is that you know i can't think with one hand holding something and the other hand holding the camera and and then trying to come up with a the name of the pattern it just doesn't work for me but this is some sort of rose pattern there with you know I'll get out of here and I, it'll come right to me but I can't think of what it is now so we're just gonna pass on it because it's not the end of the world okay let's take one of these oh. This is the second set of these I've seen. After never seeing them in my life, I now see two sets within the space of six months in the same area, which is interesting. So this is the end of this show. Let's find something very nice like you and uh, I'll see you next time.